Yeah, so uh, as I said in my last video, I was planning on making a um, trip out into the rural countryside just to check out some of the abandoned buildings. And today I'm doing a scouting mission um, just to sort of get a sense where things are at. Uh, I'm gonna try getting a few photographs and uh, see how that goes. Alright, so the first place that I'm at this morning is the town of Sharples. It's just about an hour and a half northeast of Calgary, just in this valley, um, kind of a badlands terrain that runs um, for quite some distance. It's it's most famous because of the Drumheller area and the in the dinosaur, the Royal Trail Museum where um, you know they found all the dinosaur bones. But uh, one of the interesting things about this is that um, there's a lot of um, abandoned towns that are sort of situated in, in, the, in the bottom of the valley. And these used to be areas where um, grain was collected from farms and those, those farms are all gone. So now the elevators are usually all that's left. So we're gonna photograph a few of those right now. So the plan is to uh, come back here on a day where we have some nice uh, flowy clouds and uh, use a 10 stop ND filter to um, take some daytime long exposures. And so today what I want to do is just have a feel around. I've never been here before so I just want to have a look around, um, see what kind of compositions I could make when I'm back uh, with the 10 stop. And um, yeah, I think I got a few compositions that I like. And what I'm gonna do is uh, um, shoot um, close into the base of the grain elevator and just looking up. Sort of in the style you see with the uh, urban uh, skyscraper architecture photos. And I try to take that philosophy or that approach to photographing skyscrapers with uh, long, um, long expo with uh, 10 stop ND filters and sort of apply it to these kind of older uh, structures. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go in and um, shoot fairly close to the building looking up and yeah, I'll show you what those compositions look like right now. Okay, so there's a few other abandoned uh, structures around here that I'm gonna photograph while I'm here. Uh, so let's go do that now. One of the things I love most about photographing these old abandoned buildings is just the statement they make about the impermanence of uh, human uh, impacts on the environment and how quickly things disappear. I mean, it wasn't long ago before there were uh, communities here with uh, families and kids and 
um, a ton of activity, you know, residential, industrial. And now it's pretty much almost gone and there's not going to be so many years before uh, a lot of this looks like uh, it was never here at all. So um, it's just uh, it's an interesting uh, way to see the world and it's a reminder of that fact. So yeah, it just adds an extra coolness to photographing locations like this. And you know, if you're ever um, get a chance to uh, travel to our rural, the rural prairies, whether it's Saskatchewan or Alberta or even in the northern United States, it's, uh, it's well worth stopping and making some time for photo photography in these kind of areas and not just in Banff National Park or uh, Jasper or some of the more famous Alberta locations. Okay, uh, the sun hasn't quite got around on this building yet, so it's still in shadow, but I still want to try making a few uh, um, notes, uh, photographic notes on what kind of composition I want to try here, but I'm thinking off the bat that this might be a great spot not just for a uh, long exposure photograph but maybe also a panorama given the um, the low-lying nature of the building and it's kind of long and rectangular and then uh, there's a little bit of interest on either side that might be kind of cool if the symmetry works for that so I'm gonna try to do a panel right now even though it's the face of the building is mostly in shade and um, you know can get some of the detail detail out of the shadows or um, even if it doesn't work it's still good to get the shot and see how it looks to, to make that assessment of whether we want to do it uh, in the future so yeah I'm gonna get going on that Yeah, now it's time. I'm just gonna jump back in the car and look around, see if there's any more buildings that um, that look photographable and are also accessible. Uh, unlike, you know, for anyone watching this from the UK, uh, Alberta is a barbed wire fence kind of country with uh, pretty yeah, serious signs saying uh, "stay out, no trespassing," and so you kind of have to balance that um, with still trying to get a few photos and. Um, so we'll see what we can find here before uh, calling it uh, um, for this sh this location anyway. All right. So I, um, I couldn't find anything else uh, in Sharples to shoot, just uh, I think I got everything there. So I drove up to the next town down the valley, it's called um, Hesketh, I think. Hesketh, not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, there doesn't appear to be much to shoot here, but um, we'll see. I'm going to drive around and uh, see if I can find any photos that um, look okay, and then uh, also any prospects for... Uh, shooting when I come back up this way, um, uh, at least for Sharple. So if there's anything here, then I'll I'll come and see if I can photograph as well the next time up. So yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm starting to rambling now, ramble now. So I'll just uh, see what there is, and then I'll if there's anything good, I'll pop them up here here on the screen now. Okay, so yeah, the town of Hesketh didn't really have anything uh, to offer as far as photographic opportunities. It's a neat little town, but uh, not a lot there. So it's 10 a.m. and it's time to get home. Just the light's getting harsh, and so um, I think I'm going to wrap things up. On the way, I stopped in the town of Carbon, Alberta. Kind of <laughs> Carbon, imagine that. Um, it's just a neat little town, and uh, there's an old church that I'm going to just do a couple of test shots of to see how it looks. 
um, should be kind of it should be neat for uh, um, in the right conditions and so I'm just gonna do that now and I'll uh, post this up on the screen now okay and I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching